Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna dive into everything you need to know to step up your manual focus skill. We're gonna talk about when to use the manual focus along with different ways on how you can do it, some important accessories that can help you get precise manual focus in different scenarios. If you try shooting in manual focus and having a hard time figuring out the best way to deal with it, then make sure to watch this video until the end for some very useful tips and tricks. So the first thing is to understand is when to use manual focus. In cinematography, manual focus is often used to rack focus, which is essentially shifting focus from foreground to a subject or from a subject to a background or vice versa. In some cases where cinema lenses or vintage lenses are being used, they don't come with an autofocus and that's why it's essential for a DOP or a cinematographer to use manual focus. Also with manual focus, you can exactly decide which part of the frame you want to be in focus. This way you can have more control over the story in your video and it's really powerful. So the first and quickest way to do manual focus is by using fingers to shift the focus ring. This technique obviously doesn't require any additional accessories and that's why it's perfect for running gun and handheld shooting. Now, starting off with tip number one is to set focus ring control to linear. To understand what focus ring control is, there are two terms or settings that you should be aware of. The terms are nonlinear and linear focus ring control. In nonlinear focus ring control, the focus responds according to the rotation speed of the focus ring. This means that you can change your focal length from point A to point B with different amount of rotation of the ring, depending on how fast or slow you're turning your focus ring. Where on the other hand, linear focus ring control responds only according to the rotation angle of the focus ring. So the rotation speed here doesn't matter. What matters is the rotation angle. So to get your focus from point A to point B, you always have to rotate your focus ring the same amount. So as you can see, the speed here doesn't matter. So this is why I find this technique more predictable and accurate and I recommend that you guys check out the setting on your camera and make sure you have that set into linear focus control. The linear focus ring control is also really helpful if you're using your lens with a focus puller. So this leads to our second method of using manual focus with a focus puller. When it comes to focus puller, there are two types of focus puller available in the market. One is a manual focus puller that I have right now and the other one is an electronic focus puller. Um, today we're going to talk about this follow focus which is called the small rig mini follow focus. Thank you Smarik for sending out to me this amazing product. Setting this focus puller is also really easy. All you have to do is attach one of these straps onto your focus ring and then align this strap to go along with uh, this part of the, of the knob. And when you turn it, it will change the fo focus for you. So that's really easy. So when do we use a manual focus puller? From my personal experience, I would say this manual focus puller is really ideal for tripod or dolly shots. The benefits are that you can get more smooth focus shifting and higher accuracy when using this manual focus puller with linear focus ring control. You can set point A to point B to rack focus and once the camera is already on the tripod or on a dolly, the way it is handled, you can just go from point A to point B by just turning this knob and it's mwah. There are a few limitations with this manual focus puller which we are gonna talk about in just a sec. To understand that this is my handheld setup which can be, can be quite heavy to operate for a longer period of time, especially when focusing with a manual focus puller like this. The ergonomy and the weight distribution of the camera can be a bit off and it makes it really hard to hold the camera with one hand and focus with the other hand while try trying to keep things in focus, also while maintaining a nice framing or composition. Most of the time my shots end up being even shakier when I'm using a manual focus puller during a handheld setup. Another limitation is that in order to get this knob thingy, this whole thing to go along with the strap onto your lens, you would always need some sort of cage for that specific camera or like a rod setup like this to be able to attach this. So what's really cool is that 
this focus puller comes with these two little pins right here that you can use to set focal distance and lock it for different focal distance to rack focus. So I have it set to two different focal distance right here and I'm gonna lock this lever and with the pin set up to different focal distance, I'm gonna try and test that out real quick. So as you can see, that's point A and then boom, point B. And this lever just locks in those two pins on their places. So this way you can do really smooth metal focus, rack focus. All right, now the second type of focus puller is a wireless or electronic focus puller. It's pretty much the same as a, a manual focus puller except that it has a wireless control function that can be connected to an external monitor. Use a wireless focus puller for handheld to get less shaky and more control since you have someone to pull wireless focus for you. Wireless focus control is suitable for gimbal use or when you have your camera rig on a car mount, dolly or a crane. The next way to improve your manual focus is by using an external monitor like this, which are much bigger and brighter. A much bigger and brighter screen where you can see things that are in focus more clearly. So there are scenarios where I shot using manual focus thinking that the sh my shots were in perfect focus but after I got back home turns out some of the shots were not even in focus so don't judge your focus based on this small screen that comes with your camera. If you still have to use the on-camera screen make sure that you have the focus picking the red or blue colored mark on your setting turned on which will help you achieve a more reliable manual focus. The next important aspect to improve your manual focus skill is to always practice, practice, and practice. Always practice, this can be overlooked by so many videographers out there, but here's the thing. You can't just expect to show up on an actual shoot and experiment there. There is a perfect time and place for all the tasks that we do. So instead, maybe bring your camera when you're going out with your friends. I don't know, maybe you're hanging out with your friends for lunch, meeting out with your friends for dinner or maybe going out for a running session. Bring your camera, practice wherever you can and whenever you can. And this pretty much wraps up our video for today. So to go over what we just went through in this video, the first tip is to use linear focus ring control for your lens setting. Second tip is to use a focus puller to get more precise focus control. For me, um, this manual focus puller is really great to rack focus on a tripod or on a dolly um, but for handheld gimbal shots or maybe when you're rigging it on a car definitely check out the wireless focus puller the third tip is to use an external monitor so obviously with the external monitor you can see things a lot more bigger and can see exactly what are being in focus in your shot the fourth tip is to turn on focus picking on your camera setting. Make sure you have it turned on and that will show you where in which part of the frame that are in focus. Last but not least is to always keep practicing. Practice makes a man perfect. If you want to be perfect, always keep practicing. So yeah, this pretty much wraps up our video for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you do, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. And with that being said, keep radiating the positivity and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.